Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I am glad that you're back. Okay, so today, this reading is gonna be for my Sagittariuses, okay? My Saggies, all right? You can have Sag anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, place it where it needs to go, or you can be cross-watching for a Sag, okay? I could be talking about you, I could be saying you, and it's someone else. I could be saying it's someone else and it's you. Just fucking put yourself where you need to go, okay? I'm not your mama, I'm not your daddy, okay? <laughs> You're in charge of your life, okay? Okay. Okay, Saggy. I didn't forget you, right? I hope you guys are having a good Friday, okay? Um, Let's see. So first off, someone's name is James, okay? Or someone's name starts with a J. Someone's name could uh, could be Julia or Jason. Something like that is significant, okay? I also got um, the name Tina and Nicole, okay? Someone here, something about a tanning, a tanning salon is significant. I don't know if you just went tanning. Or you know someone who like tans a lot or something tanning salon something about a tanning salon maybe you decided you want to stop doing tanning salon i don't know i wouldn't know i i would have no business going to a tanning salon all right <laughs> let me see what else um oh i also got something about a construction worker so i don't know if you work in construction or you have a construction business um or you're getting construction done on your home okay something about construction or there's you've been noticing there's a lot of construction happening like when you're on your way to go places okay i'm also getting something about a bus again something about a bus or a bus station or maybe when you're driving on the road be careful about buses when they're taking wide turns something like that is significant okay I'm also getting like some of you, you guys need to be made aware that you have a whole bus full of like spiritual um, backup, okay? Like if someone feels like they're going to mess with you on this full moon, they got another thing coming is what I feel like is going on here. I'm talking to my Saggies that are on the light side of right, okay? I also got something about rum, okay? So... I don't know someone could be drinking a lot of rum right now okay or somebody that you know um that drinks a lot of rum this person may be doing something when it comes to rum and spell work okay or if you have an altar maybe your ancestors want you to put rum on there okay on their altar something about rum is significant okay I'm also getting something about like um you guys can be moving soon because i kept getting the smell of fresh paint okay this is creepy i kept getting the smell of fresh paint um or you guys could be getting an, an office like a new office or if you work at a company you guys are going to be moving to a new location so right now i have a daddy long laid that's like climbing on my cards Ooh. So something about that is significant. We're going to look that up in a bit. I don't want to kill it. What you going to do, buddy? Here. Okay. Here. <laughs> That's running. Okay, I don't know where you went, but you went somewhere. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, so a new office, right? What else? Oh, I also got something about the smell of gasoline is significant. You guys could be on the road a lot, whoever I'm talking to. You could travel for work, or you have a job where you're driving a lot. 
I'm also getting something about a childhood memory of smelling gasoline. The smell of gasoline. Okay. Someone here could be 23 years old, 35, 37 year old, years old, 41, 42, 46. Someone's in their 30s or 40s is who I think I'm channeling for. Okay. I also got something about um, someone needs to fix their insurance. I don't know what type of insurance this is for. This could be your life insurance, but I don't feel like it's life insurance. I think it's like something, well, it could be. This could be something about like maybe your healthcare. Is that life insurance? No, that's different. Healthcare insurance or something? Maybe you're, I feel like whoever I'm talking to you, you're paying too much for your insurance, okay? I know this sounds like a fucking Geico com commercial, but something about your insurance. Maybe even your car insurance or your home insurance is significant. Um, I'm also getting something about like checking your insurance to see if they, it covers like with your home, if it covers like floods or natural disasters, because I keep getting something about a flood. Something being destroyed by water. So a flood, a hurricane, a cyclone. I don't fucking know. Something like that is significant. Okay. The states that I was that I've channeled so far was Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, Tennessee, Alabama. Okay. Georgia. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Is that even a state? I don't fucking know. I also got something about a doctor. Some of you need to go visit a doctor, okay? There's something about a doctor's visit that's very significant for you guys, okay? What else do I have? I think that's it for this one. I'm also getting something about something being legal, okay? Legal Zoom, I don't know. Something about a legality is significant. Maybe you guys are in court with somebody. Or with something. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do my Sagittarius need to hear? What do they need to hear? Okay. So, first card out. We have your 10th house. It says your destiny, where you're going, your career. So, something about your 10th your tenth house is very significant for you when it comes to the month of May. Okay? Or whatever's happening in the next week. Okay? Because I, uh, that's what I feel like I read for. Either the whole month or the week of... Or three months down the line. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. What else do my Sagittarius need to hear? What's going on with my Sagittarius? Thank you. Okay, something about somebody's south node here. So some of you could be feeling like, um, you guys could be feeling anxious about your future or what your destiny holds for you. Or, or anxious about your career. Okay, maybe you feel like there's some sort of trouble that's happening when it comes to your career or um, a level of danger or something like that is significant. You guys are definitely being called to change your diet. You guys are being called to um, eat more fruits and vegetables. I know we keep getting this, but this is some of y'all ain't doing it. Maybe that's why it keeps coming out. Or you guys could be thinking about growing your own food. Okay, that could be a good idea. We have something about your sixth house is significant. See, look, we have full-time job here. And then we have your career. All right? So maybe there's something here that you're destined to do as a full-time job. And maybe you're only making it as a part-time job. Something like that is significant. Maybe you're going to make a switch over um from so okay say you're doing something part-time and it's something that you're passionate about okay um maybe you can consider it a hobby or a side hustle or business maybe you are feeling the urge to jump into it full force and have it your full-time job but you could be feeling anxious and scared that uh you're gonna just make your life more hard by doing that or something like that i feel like spirit's trying to tell you like no you're going to be taken care of if you do this okay like you have like you have backup okay 
Yeah, there's something that um, you guys are about to invent, okay? Or you're about to do something in a different way. And maybe that's another reason why you're feeling afraid that it may not work out. Because it's not the usual route or the usual thing to do. Something about Uranus is significant. And I'm not talking about your ass, okay? <laughs> something about the planet Uranus. Let me look this up. Sorry, I'm looking this up. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. So it says Uranus, God of the sky and the heavens, is the ruler of Aquarius. It says in astrology, the energies of Uranus are electric and crammed with change. Yeah, so something about change is happening here with your career sector, okay? And this is destined to happen. Some of you, this could bring a lot of fear out of you, or you're fearful of this happening, or you maybe you don't even know of this yet. I don't know, okay? But let's find out. Oh, another thing too. Um, there was a song that I woke up hearing, and I knew it was for you, Sag, okay? I don't listen. I don't listen to Chris Brown, okay? This is not my top choice, but Spirit was like, you gotta hear this. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, listen. Two of Michael and the wheel here. There's something that you're not seeing about your destiny. There's something here that you're not seeing that has been given to you as like a birthright. You're gonna be getting a new beginning. There's going to be an end of delays, okay? I feel like some of you are not realizing that, okay? It's, it's, okay, this is good. Whatever this is, is good, okay? But let me channel this fucking song, okay? All I kept hearing was, when I woke up was, Baby, who cares? But I know you care. Bring it over to my place. <laughs> you don't know what you did, did to me. Your body language speaks to me. I don't know what you did, did to me. Okay. You did something to someone. Okay, Sag. I don't know if you gave them the good D or the good V. But someone can't get over what the hell happened. Okay. I could even be talking to a cross watcher. Place it where it needs to go. Okay. Someone can't get over you. I feel like someone here is like, um wants to hold on to your energy i'm also getting like you could just be like i don't care leave me alone and this person's like no i know you care so this is like kind of a pushy individual is what i'm getting that you're dealing with okay yeah what else is going on here also in this song it talks about a hurricane and then it also talks about um someone wants to tattoo their name on you or their name on them and that makes sense. So something about tattoos, I could be talking to someone who has a tattoo. Maybe you have a tattoo of this person's name. All right. I'm also getting whoever this individual is. Could be somebody who takes Percocets or Molly or takes some sort of pills or has a pill addiction. Okay. Maybe this is another reason why you're not communicating with this individual. This person's. I'm also getting like someone's going to kind of try to return into your life because they know you have some sort of will of fortune coming through. This person sense it, senses it, okay? And um, this person wants to come in and either block it for you or traumatize you or something. Someone wants to do something to you, okay? Throw off your energy in some way um, or join in on this destiny that's waiting for you here, okay, Sag? All right? I don't feel like this person's any good for you, but what do I know, okay? 
What else? Yeah, whoever this person is, you definitely had sex with them. So this is someone from your past or someone you're currently dealing with. Place it where it needs to go. What else? Yeah. This person could even show up at your place or they could contact you and ask you to go to theirs. Place it where I need to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what kind of zodiac signs are they dealing with? Who are my Sagittarius dealing with? Who is that? You guys could be dealing with Leo. Okay, you guys could be dealing with Leo, someone who has Leo in their chart. Do you see how beautiful that landed? We got Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Or someone who has Virgo in their chart. What else do they need to know? Do you see it? Do you see this? Someone could be playing basketball. Someone has a good shot. Okay. We have Capricorn. Someone here could be a Capricorn or has Capricorn somewhere in their chart. And we got Libra. Someone could be a Libra or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Okay. Who's at the bottom? Taurus. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or you could have uh, be dealing with someone who has Taurus somewhere in their chart. Okay. Okay. I'm also getting like someone doesn't want you to go on to your destiny or the your your um chosen career path because someone refuses to get out of their south node. Okay. So it's giving me like a little misery loves company vibe. Yeah, someone here could be very toxic. Someone's in denial that you know you you moved on and you want nothing to do with them. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I hope someone's not coming towards you all hopped up on drugs trying to like force you to like love them or something. Yeah, this person desires you sexually at least. Okay. Or maybe someone just thought something was a sexual connection and now they're realizing it's more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? But I feel like it's a little too late. Yeah, this is someone who could be insecure or someone who doesn't know how to speak correctly. Not speak correctly. I mean, it's Mercury retrograde. No one knows how to speak correctly. <laughs> but, like, this person has a hard time either telling the truth or just speaking up um, when it comes to their emotions. Okay, or their true intentions. You could be dealing with a fucking liar, is what I feel like. We got base chakra in reverse as well, so someone here could feel very, um, like I said, insecure, unstable. This you could be dealing with someone who has like a father, father issues, daddy issues. Don't we all? I'm just joking. Someone could have daddy issues or unresolved. Let's say that unresolved daddy issues. Okay. And they allow that to, like, um, fester and, and spill out into different areas of their life, okay, in a very negative way. Yeah, someone here is going to come here and try to, like, make you choose them. Spirit wants you to choose wisely. Yeah. Use your wisdom when you're dealing with this person. Someone here could be 55 years old because we got 5-5 five five out here. Oh, dude, we got 5-5-5. Five five five. You guys could be seeing a lot of 5-5-5 five 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 as of late, Okay. Yeah, it's important to use your wisdom at this time. Someone here could be missing you. I'm also getting, if you don't use your wisdom, you might experience some sort of emotional loss. Okay, or this person might come in and break your heart all over again. And you'll be left alone in this situation. Like, running through your six with your woes. We got happiness. So there's someone here that's missing you while you're over here happy. You need to protect your happiness is what I feel like is going on here. Let's look up 555 real quick. I did have it open for 222 because um, that was the number I was going to give y'all. Let me just hear Let's Let me just read this. 222, it's a major message for you. It says, trust yourself and in the goodness of the universe. Okay? What your future holds when you're seeing 222 is potential challenges. All right? Maybe that's why you could be afraid. Yeah, something about your work. Yeah, the, 222 is an encouragement to remember that your intuition and spiritual guidance will not lead you astray. So it's important to use your wisdom at this time. The energy of 222 helps you to control your fears and emotions as you pursue 
harmony and balance okay at this time unwind and be in the moment especially as you move forward with projects or work through the obstacles that arise so you guys could be experiencing a lot of like um road bumps on your path okay it's fine it's nothing that you can't handle tell me more about the five 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 so we got five 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 here a major message for you great change is coming make it happen it says change is coming like a like all five angel numbers five 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 amplifies a message about oncoming transformations through challenge and change both positive and negative at this time it is important to stay positive as you transition it says trust yourself and your angels as you overcome obstacles to personal growth it is time of affirmative change so take care of your emotional mental and spiritual well-being is key it says the good news is that this change may happen over time in small increments either way 555 is a warning to prepare so that you can make the best of this extremely energetic time to harness the powers of transformative vi vibrations okay what you can do is pursue positive life choices and habits on a day-to-day -day basis meditate or practice yoga for increased mindfulness rework your schedule to maintain a better balance of work and rest and speak and write positivity in your life with meaningful intentional sentences so when it comes to meditation, I feel like I need to talk about this. And I keep getting a hair on my lip, which is weird. Okay. When you guys meditate, you don't have to do the classic sitting there in silence, umming. Okay. You don't have to do that. You guys could meditate by like getting a coloring book and just like drawing or coloring, right? Or you could do something that you like to do like painting, drawing, sewing whatever that keeps your focus on something like in the here and now in the present moment and not about what's happening what happened yesterday or in the past or what's happening in the future or what's happening tomorrow or what's happening in an hour it's all about being present okay i hope this makes sense like being mindful of like your breath being mindful of the temperature in the room like i don't know i hope this makes sense anyway let's look up this daddy long leg because now it's in my brain like even when i'm cleaning like i get a lot of downloads what is this <laughs> you could be dealing with someone who plays a lot of loud like um they like to bump their music really loud this could be like a a character trait of this person Ooh. it says seeing a daddy long leg in oh in the evening is a good thing it says foretelling good fortune happiness and hope okay guys look at that look at that look at how beautiful that is yeah someone wants to come in and like um they want to be part of this but you need to be mindful because we got toxic toxic as fuck here holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more when it comes to my sages what do they need to hear Okay, I'm, this is a side note. If you guys go to like a, a nail salon, because I know we got tan tanning salon, but I'm getting something about a nail salon. If you guys go to a regular nail salon, there's something about your nail salon tech or whatever. Like if you keep going to the same one, that person could be, and if you're telling this person your problems, I don't know, be, be mindful about that person. Tell me about this. That's, this is only confirmation if you have felt that way, okay? Yeah, someone here could be pissed off because you refuse to speak to them. This is someone you're not talking to. Or somebody knows that you're upset because you found out that this person lied about something. Maybe even lied about something about you. Yeah, someone was trying to cover something up. Now this person feels vulnerable because um, they're being exposed for something. Yeah, 
Someone feels like they need to communicate with you. Someone here needs to hear your voice. Something about an exchange. Someone needs to hear your voice. Tell me more. Yeah, someone here could be um, really fake. Okay, so you could be seen through a lot of fake people or you need to realize when this person communicates with you, some of the emotions that they're going to explain to you, it could be fake. Okay, you need to really be mindful. Okay, yeah, someone here could be watching you. I'm also getting like someone's acting like they don't watch you or that they don't care about you, but they do. They're just lying. Yeah, they watch you, but they don't communicate. Watching you, no communication. Why do we have emotional loss here? I'm also getting like someone's trying to say that like if you tell this person some sort of like um, wise advice or whatever, like when this person asks, this person may not like the answer and they might be like, oh, you're fake. You're a liar. Blah, blah, blah. Tell me more. Why do we have emotional loss? Yeah, someone's pissed because you're something's returning to you. Something good is returning to you. Your peace of mind is returning to you, okay? All your chakras in balance, that could be something that's returning to you because maybe somebody here was trying to make your, uh, try to affect your um, root chakra and your throat chakra here. Yeah, now this person's sad. We have I regret talking shit to you. Yeah, somebody was trying to put some sort of love spell on you. And they're realizing it ain't working because they're sitting here over alone in their fills. Yeah, someone's also sad because you're about to get a new love going on here. And this is because you decided to release this individual or individuals. Yeah, this person needs to stay away from you. This came into reverse though. So I feel like either this person is still around you or lurking around you. Or this person refuses to stay away from you. I don't know if you might need to get a restraining order on this person. We have drinking. This person could be drinking a lot or drinks a lot of rum. That's for some of you. That's not for all y'all. But I'm just saying it's there. <sighs> what else? What else do they need to hear? Yeah, there's someone here that's suspicious or that has been like digging off your intuition like ding 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 warning okay you need to pay attention to that yeah this person could be like it says trash this person could be trash or they're they're not good to be around you energetically let's just say that holy spirit holy angels can tell me more i'm also getting like someone over here was trying to talk trash on you or was saying that you was trash Maybe you're going to get pissed off because whatever this information is or what they were saying about you is about to come back. I'm also getting like someone's upset because you're, you're not only you're not talking to them, but your, your life is also going up and someone's life is going down. Somebody tried to do something to you. I feel like this could have been physically and spiritually. Yeah, someone here is thirsty for your energy here and they're trying to cover up their thirstiness for you. Like, trying to act like around everyone else that they ain't trying to want you, but they do. Okay? Something about liking someone's photo or liking something is significant. This person could be going on your profiles as someone else and, like, trying to act like they're a supporter, but they're not. Yeah, somebody here... Something here is about to become viral. Someone's about to go viral. Someone's content is about to go viral. Okay. Or some sort of message is going around quickly. Or someone's going to be become instantly famous or popular. Something about a lucky break here. And it's because of some sort of wisdom that you have. Okay. Maybe someone's going to find out about you getting some sort of, I don't know, viral situation. And this is when this person's going to want to come in and, like, be all thirsty to try to be with you. But this is someone who's been talking shit, okay? Some of you 
you're about to get receipts on some sort of good karma returning to you. Like, you're about to see it in the physical soon. And someone here is going to be sick to their stomachs about it. I'm also getting you're not believing in something. Or you are needing answers to something. Why do we have new love? Listen. I feel like this person could have left you because they felt like the grass was greener on the other side and now they want to come back. Go go home. Go home. What am I looking for? This? No, where's the other one? Your body language speaks to me. You don't know what you do. Your body language speaks to me. Yeah, this is someone who's unhealed here. I'm also getting like someone here, something's up with somebody's throat. They need it. Someone needs to go to the doctor about their throat. Someone here could be, it's, it's because of smoking or drinking or something. Or for telling a lot of lies. That's also how the divine will get you. Okay. Yeah, someone hasn't healed ever since you walked away from this person. This person can't heal or something. Yeah, you have your boundaries you have your boundaries up to this person, like really up. Yeah, you're not allowing any communication or yeah, you don't want this person's cup of love. This is what this person wants to do. They want to like start a new love with you and you're just like, "I don't fucking want your shit." You know this person's unhealed. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or someone who has Aquarius in their chart because I talked about Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to exchange anything with this person. You don't want to exchange communication. You don't want to exchange gifts. You don't want to exchange money. You don't want to exchange shit. What's with this base chopper here? Someone's pissed off about this. I'm also getting like, you could have like refused accepting a gift. I think I said that right. You could have rejected, there we go. You could have rejected somebody's gift. Maybe somebody tried to send you a gift or hand it, try to hand you a gift and you're like, I don't want it. No, thank you. I think that was a good call. I feel like you were using your goddamn wisdom. There could have been something attached to some sort of gift that someone was trying to give you. Okay. Yeah, someone feels left out in the cold, okay, from your loving energy. I'm also getting, like, someone could be having financial issues, okay. I feel like someone was trying to make you have financial issues. I'm also getting, like, if you guys... You guys could, okay, if you guys were struggling on getting some sort of loan for something, you're going to, or getting some sort of approval on an application, you're about to get approved for it, okay? Yeah, someone wants to come in here and apologize to you, but something in that cup is fishy, okay? You guys could be very happy by yourself at this time and secure and someone else, this is like someone who needs to be with people or something. Yeah, someone can't rest. Okay, someone here wants to come and like heal something with you. You guys could be dealing with a cancer. Don't have to be. I'm also getting something about surgery or a surgery gone wrong. I, damn. I'm also getting something about somebody woke somebody's ancestors up from the grave. Like they were just like. I don't, I don't fucking know. Something like that is significant. Like, somebody's ancestors ain't playing around with somebody here. Like, they're rushing in to protect you from this individual. Yeah, I could be talking to a high priestess here. This is your destiny to uncover what's in the darkness. This is your birthright to tell the truth about shit. Someone can't stand your birthright. Someone, someone... Someone cannot stand you, okay, is what I'm getting here, Saggy. Or cross watch or place it where it needs to go. Someone wants to apologize so they can get back into your life. Yeah, this person's rushing in, going fast. This person could be rushing in. Don't have to be. Okay, or you guys could be dealing with a Pisces here. Yeah, but you don't want nothing to do with this person. I feel like you've already told this person to back off. Yeah. And this is justice. This is your justice for someone, for all the shit that someone has done. I don't know. Something like that is significant. 
I'm also getting there's a secret here that someone still like hasn't told you or when this person comes in they're not going to tell you the whole truth about something that went down why do we have shut up someone could have been secretly married or in a relationship or made some sort of secret contract Someone made a secret contract that involves what you're destined to have. Like, I don't know, some sort of something. Like, someone created some sort of um, confusion when it came to this. Yeah, someone here is a fucking liar. Someone here is going to try to be real sneaky when it comes to some sort of contract, some sort of partnership, marriage, agreement, some sort of offer, some sort of gift. Okay? Y'all need to be aware. Use your intuition when this thing is offered to you. Okay? Okay? Tell me more. Why do you have wisdom here? Because this person's coming in fast. I'm also getting like, not only is this person coming in fast, like movement wise, but this person's also going to be talking fast with this sword. Where is it? So it's like, mm, pay attention to the words that the person is saying. Pay attention to what this person's saying to you. Because the truth is in there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to come in and offer you a cup. You need to use your wisdom when it comes to this. You guys you guys could be dealing with a Leo, an Aries, or a Sag, or another Sag. Yeah, this person wants to come in, sweep you off your feet, and tell you that they want to build a life with you, or whatever, or marry you even. Yeah, this person's rushing in very fast to do this. Yeah. Maybe somebody knows you're about to get some sort of lucky break here, okay? This person's coming in being fake as hell, though, okay? You could have already made a final judgment with this person. I'm also getting, like, this person's going to beg for a second chance when it comes to you, okay? This could have been someone that you were working with or someone that you work with. I'm also getting something about a distraction. Like, this person could be just a big-ass distraction. Yeah, this person... This person could become bitter if you reject them, so just be mindful. <laughs> Sorry, Bosh. Yeah, this person's got a hunger for your energy. I don't really like the vibe. This person could be coming in desperate or, like, not... This person's not going to take no for an answer is also what I'm getting here. I'm also getting, like, somebody wants you to stop, like, um, being ambitious or something. Yeah, uh confirmation we have the ten of cups here and we have the four of wands so there could be with this money returning and receipts someone could be finding out that like you are owed a home or your something about your stability is returning maybe someone was trying to steal that it could have been somebody from your family don't have to be or a married couple tell me more Yeah, someone here could be worried because they're losing their home. This could be you or someone else you're dealing with. Place where it needs to go. Or you could be worried about something here. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups. Someone here could be in uh, regret about something here. Someone's, in, someone's, this is not good. You, this is, someone missed out on an opportunity or something here. Now they really feel your loss. Okay. But it's like someone wants to come in here. Like someone thinks like if they give it to you, you would be the answer to the, like all their problems. But the thing is what they don't understand is that the divine here is trying to hand them a fucking cup and they refuse to take it. Like someone refuses to do the healing work. Someone refuses to get out of their self and over here. Like they can help themselves, but they want you to help them instead. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Listen, this person just wants to come in, partner up with you, and then backstab the fuck out of you. Yeah, this person is coming in with some form of manipulation. I'm also getting like this person knows that you're in a manifestation mode here. Yeah. Someone could be, um, someone wants to come in and manipulate your heart. Or someone wants to come in here and hurt you again. There's a lot of swords out here. You guys could be dealing with another air sign, or with an air sign, another air sign. 
what the fuck is going on yeah something definitely about a missed opportunity here when it comes to finances or job or a job or work or someone was trying to make you uh miss out on some sort of opportunity here by holding something back from you it could have been finances it could have been information it could have been documents it could be anything okay tell me more what do we have this here and someone here is coming in real passionate like towards you this could be a king of wands character Hold on. or you could be a king of wands put it where it needs to go someone could um see you as a wife here they're trying to manifest you in i'm getting like a lot of like come to me spells okay this person something's gonna happen fast you're gonna get some sort of fast communication from this person or this person is going to email you text you or call you but i feel like whatever this communication is it is involving some sort of deception or betrayal so you need to be careful about what you say to this person as well because i feel like someone here is going to try to try to record something i don't know someone wants you to miss out on something someone wants you to put it put you in some sort of emotional loss this person's real desperate. I'm also getting like someone's gonna come in and try to cloak themselves is also what I'm getting. Like they're not gonna, someone's gonna try to cloak themselves. I'm also getting an energy of like someone wants to run away with something. Run away love, run away love. Some of you are going to get a new, brand new relationship here that's going to bring a lot of fucking happiness. And it's going to be protected, this union. it's You guys will have a lot of abundance together. But someone here wants to steal this from you. Or steal the opportunity from you. Okay? This person is really desperate to do this. I'm annoyed. I'm also getting like someone wants you to be in a position where you're benched. I said something about basketball earlier. So, I don't know. Maybe you're a basketball player. I don't know. But somebody here wants to put you on the bench, so to speak. So that you're, like, out of the game. You can't play. You can't do something. Whatever that you're good at. Whatever craft that you do or, or however you make money. Someone wants you to put you... Somebody wants you... Someone wants to put you in a position where you're unable to do that. Maybe it involves using your, your throat or your something. Something like that is significant. Someone here is going to come in and act like they want to help you, but this person, like, actually don't want to help you. They don't want to help you. Anymore. This could be a Virgo. Or someone who has Virgo in their chart. Yeah, someone here is going to try to offer you some sort of um, resources and stability. This could be a Libra. This is something that they've been trying to cover up. They've been something about someone's resources has been covered up. Why do we have... Uh, who is this? Listen. <laughs> Tell me more. What the fuck is this? <sighs> Someone, you got a snake on your hands. I have a snake in my boot. Why do we have this? Who's this? Ooh. Hi, Dios. Who is. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up soon. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? What kind of good things can they expect, Spirit? Because goddamn. What kind of good things can my Sagittarius expect? Thank you. We have Eagle. It says triumph over troubles and obstacles. So whatever you're dealing with right now, you're going to overcome them. What do we got here? We got the wheel. We have wheel out here twice. Okay. But this one talks about indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. 
okay? So this could be you or someone else that you're dealing with. Maybe you're starting to, um, maybe you've noticed that and you're um, gonna step in this emperor energy and be the boss of your own life or take full control over your, your life here. You feel like it's time, tell me more. Yeah. There's something here that you weren't seeing clearly or you're about to see clearly. Like you're gonna have the full scope about something here, okay? We have lobster, financial pinch. I'm also getting like someone here is looking for ways to get their money up, okay? We have broom, it says new home, new attitude. Yeah, fresh paint. Someone here could be getting a new home soon. Okay, we have vine, it says speaking speaking out. That's, out, out, okay. I was gonna say speaking out information. So some of you could be, I don't know, you guys speak out, maybe you have a public, platform or some shit okay you speak out or you need to speak out about something some sort of information you know but that's not what the card says it says seek out information that will help you okay sag tell me more we have major challenge to overcome god damn so you guys are going to be met with some sort of major challenge here okay but it's going to bring some sort of great change that i think is something that you need to do it says persevere and you'll overcome problems so yeah that's that's what we got going on here saggy holy spirit holy angels what else do they need to know what else do my sages need to know any other good news here okay you guys are going to get some sort of epiphany here it says joy through spiritual growth be a light to others answers that come through meditation so you guys might need to do that we have time to make a decision, be clear on what you want, and take action, a need for detoxification. Okay. Some of you are gonna get some sort of massive download soon. And it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna show you something that you've been not seeing or something. Tell me more. Either about yourself or your situation. Yeah, two of Michael. It's something you're not seeing. Or some sort of decision decision that you're not making. It says it will be it will it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. Okay, so this could be you or someone else that you're dealing with. Okay, place it where needs to go, Saggy. A lot of the number two. We have two of Ariel. Someone could be a master number twenty two. It says, it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once. It says, making work fun. So you guys could be, like I said in the beginning of the read, you guys could be doing something like, you guys could have a full-time job and then you could have a part-time job or a part-time hobby or side gig, okay? And you be you could be wanting your side gig to be your full job or something like that. Place it where it needs to go. You're going to find the, the solution to make that happen, okay? It says, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So for some of you, you might need to compromise some things within yourself or with the things that you do. Maybe for instance, like if you decide to make your side gig your whole job and you know it's, at first it's not going to bring in a lot of revenue or whatever or income, you're going to have to make certain sacrifices like maybe not going to the salon and getting your nails done or deciding to do them yourself or not going to the tanning salon. That's for somebody. I don't know. Something about that is significant. Budgeting. Okay. Making budget cuts. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more in order to make your dreams come true or to invest in yourself for the future. We have three of Michael. It says release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So something here is... This is like for everyone though. It's like something horrible and then something beautiful at the end. Okay, we got Queen of Michael. It says, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. Okay, so if there's someone here that wants to come in strongly, I don't... For some of you, I feel like this is an old person coming in to try to start something new with you. Okay, and... Listen to your intuition. If you're telling, if your intuition is telling you it's not a good idea, it's probably not a good idea, and to focus on your career, okay? Because maybe someone wants to come in here and distract you from your career or whatever you're destined to do, whatever your craft is, is what I'm getting here. Okay, you're someone who is brilliant, you're self-reliant, you're insightful, and you're humorous. Okay. We have the sun at the bottom of the deck. God damn. Okay. It says life is wonderful. It says thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. You could be someone who's very inspiring. People could look up to you. There's something about like your experience in life that needs to be spoken out. Okay. 
in order to help um to help people okay something about sunflowers is significant as well or the color yellow or something about your solar plexus chakra i feel like someone here could be could have been trying to cipher energy off of your solar plexus chakra so you don't feel motivated to do things for yourself or to work on the projects that you're passionate about holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more what else do they need to hear here with this here here <laughs> these people yeah, someone here is afraid that karma is about to fucking sting them back, okay? Your ancestors and angels want you to know that they are very much proud of you, okay? Someone here could be feeling depressed or someone here um, is depressed because you don't want communication with them or you don't want them in your life. Someone here is about to be shocked about what's what destiny had for you or has for you. I'm also getting like, you about to shock yourself or the universe is about to shock you, okay, with something awesome. Okay, so people here could be very uh, fascinated by what you do, whatever the fuck you do. You could do makeup really well. You could do hair really well. You could knit real fast. You could do nails. You could do something with tanning. I don't fucking know. That's what I got. You could be a uh, an awesome basketball player or something. You do something. Okay, people are fascinated by it. I'm also getting something about your mind is very um, intriguing or someone likes your mind or someone here could be very attracted to your mind. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Ay Dios. Someone speaks Spanish. We have sleepy. Okay, you guys could be feeling really sleepy or maybe that um, was the effect. Okay, so how can I say this? If you were, if, okay. If you have been feeling really fucking tired over the last two weeks, it's because someone here was trying to cipher off uh, energy from your lower chakras, okay? You could have even been feeling like sluggish or depressed, okay? Someone here wanted you to feel nervous or anxious. I'm also getting somebody here is about to be feeling these energies, whoever was trying to cipher off your energy, because I feel like they don't have any more, they don't have any more, uh, access to you when I'm getting here. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Ooh, damn. We got affirmation. You need to affirm what what you are, who you are, and what you're going to be here. Okay? Holy Spirit. Oh, please don't. Tell me more. What's going on here? What else do they need to know? to wash something up from the past <laughs> why did i say it like that from the past <laughs> somebody here wants to wash something up from the past so someone might want to dig up some dirt on you someone wants to like someone thinks that they're going to come in and like um expose your skeleton your skeletons in the closet or something in order to try to stop you from your destiny or some stupid shit someone wants to do something dumb yeah it's, this is all because you're going to be getting some sort of abundance here or some sort of um good fortune or luck or breakthrough someone doesn't like this someone wants to change the perception okay with other people i'm also getting like you need to change your perception on yourself because your perception on yourself could be fragmented you may not be seeing yourself how other people see you or view you okay maybe you don't feel like what you do is inspirational or like anything important but you don't realize it how much it affects other people's lives in a very positive way we have clarity here okay something about a crystal ball is significant or maybe you're going to discover that you know how to read crystal balls or whatever you do with crystal balls okay you're going to gain some sort of clarity here though some sort of epiphany is coming through okay something about something you've been praying for i'm also getting like um if you've been smudging your home or your yourself, okay, it's definitely working. You guys could be seeing a lot of um, feathers, okay. I'm also getting you guys have a very strong connection with um, with the archangels here. You're gonna be getting some sort of message here, a message or an answer from your for your prayers or whatever you've been praying for. It's coming through. And then I gotta wrap this up. Hold on. Yeah, listen, you guys you guys are in a very like creative mode here. Whoever I'm talking to, you're very creative. Okay. 
it's like all you want to do is create joy into your life here like maybe you were seeing the world as something like really dark and dreary or i don't even know if that's a word but like now your your perception on life or on your future or on your destiny is changing or on your career or what you want to do for a career okay more. yeah some of you are going through another spiritual awakening here you're going through something that's going to help you grow spirit wants you to maintain having faith here i'm also getting you're getting this um this abundance here because you did the work ciao yeah, there's a soulmate here, so this could be a family lover, business friend, or whatever that wants to come in and block you from something. Same old story, same old rhyme. What's over here? What do these motherfuckers want? Hold on. It says this hater is nice to your face, but gossips behind your back. Like I was saying, if you guys go to a nail tech or someone that you get services from, someone here could be like talking shit about you, but they're nice to you in your face or some shit. Be careful about the information you give to this person. It says they distort the truth to people to make you look like an evil bitch. So someone here wants you to look bad. They're trying to change your how people view you. But I feel like people are going to see you crystal clear, like that crystal ball. Tell me more. I'm also getting like someone could be like watching you through divination. We have this hater thrives on attention and does anything to get it. So you're dealing probably with an attention whore here. Someone also could be mad because you're going to be going viral or you're, you get a lot of attention. Someone could be upset about that. Maybe this is like a secret. Um, someone has some sort of secret competition with you maybe they're not maybe they don't they're not outright with it okay tell me more but they do they have it it's in there yeah this could be someone who's in your family somebody's family tell me more or your family is connected to whoever this whoever this hater is so you could be you could be dealing with someone that you know like somebody who's not in your family right and you could be telling them about your business or your information or whatever is happening to you on the day-to-day -day, good and bad things and this person is you don't know but they could be connected to your family and they're relaying information about you to your family or your family member that does not like you okay we have this hater befriended your lover to plant lies into your into their head about you okay we have this person is a fake spiritualist, so you got a fake spiritualist out here somewhere that's trying to make you look like an evil bitch um, because they're a hater. We got this hater has mental health issues, so be the bigger person. So this person got problems up in the head, and they love attention. So this could be a narcissist. Tell me more. This person pretends that they're love and light, but they do, they dabble in darker shit. It says this person projects their text, uh, text, their text. Someone texts somebody or someone's from Texas. We have this person projects their talk. It won't even let me say it. This person projects their toxicity on you because they're jealous. This is the whole kitten caboodle here. But at the same time, they wish they could be your fucking best friend like a weirdo. I'm getting like swim fan. The movie. This could be an ex-lover. This could be a stranger. This could be fucking anyone. Your family. Something. Something's going on here, Saggy. What would be the outcome with their situation? Okay. Something about a Virgo. Or something about Virgo season is significant. Okay, so whatever this is, when it when it comes to your destiny here, you guys you guys are being called to make a change in your life. Only you would know what this is. You could be allowing fear to stop you. We have worked through your fears here with this new moon in Scorpio. 
We also have You Are Good Enough. Don't you ever forget it. Full Moon in Virgo. Then we have the answers you need are coming. So like with that money returning and the receipts card together, you guys are going to be getting the answers you need. You're going to be getting the receipts, the proof of something that is owed to you or something like that, okay? It could be from a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. We have Full Moon in Gemini. It says the time to take action. New Moon in Aries. Yeah, you guys are being called to take action here. It says, don't let your don't let your past hold you back. South node. South node out here fucking twice. Alright, Saggy. Don't let your past hold you back. Or anyone from your past hold you back, okay? thank you we have birth it says new life such as a baby an idea happy news or an exciting project blossoms within and around you don't be afraid to give this thing to birth or give this give birth to something <laughs> whatever this is here we have authenticity it says trust your real self whom god created divinely perfect has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. Stay true to you. Okay. And let go of the things that no longer serve you. Tell me more. Or or the men mentalities as well. It says allow yourself to receive. It says open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. Something about daily practice here. Okay. So there's something here that you want to do. You could be afraid of putting yourself out there is what I feel like because you have vulnerability here. So that whatever you're doing, it's something that you're passionate about and you put your emotions in. So um, this is something that you could not feel exactly confident about like um, showcasing because um, you care about it a lot, I guess. You know what I mean? That makes sense. It says, listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration and they... And then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. Okay. But whatever this thing you need to do to um, practice daily. Okay. Practice. Pra just keep doing it. Keep practicing. Even if you don't feel like it's 100%. Keep doing it. Okay. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll become. The more skilled you'll become. The more like in the groove. You'll, you'll find your groove. Okay. We have listen only to love. So yeah, maybe your maybe your neg negative self talk could be talking to you and telling you dumb shit that you, that's not real. Okay, it says don't allow fear to distract you from your divine mission. Because I feel like what's happening here with that two of Michael and the wheel card, it's like all the blockages that you had in front of you, if it was from sp spell work or from someone being deceptive or setting shit up for you to fail um just know all of that is gone you have a whole army around you okay protecting you and supporting you and the thing that you're destined to do okay uh, you could be holding yourself back this is an energy a lot of people are having so <laughs> you're not alone okay don't beat yourself up yeah look we got yes here don't beat yourself up say yes to the things that you know you're being called to do Okay, you need to release all these negative thoughts, okay? I also got this. There's a tarot card reader that's hating on you, but who fucking cares? They're really going to hate on you when you get some sort of good news soon. Some of your views could go up. Some of your subscribers could go up. I could be talking to someone who has a platform, okay? This doesn't have to be YouTube. This could be anything. This could... Okay. I need to shut up. They want you to have confidence. Okay. It says, Archangel Michael, please lead me or please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. 
So your solar plexus chakra. You guys could benefit from using, um, not using, wearing a lot of yellow, okay? Focusing a white light where your solar plexus is, which is just above your belly button, okay? Like here, <laughs> okay? All right, um, playing um, frequencies that align with the solar plexus while you're sleeping or while you're just doing whatever. Um, saying I am affirmations that help with the solar plexus chakra. You can Google that. Just literally Google solar plexus chakra affirmations and sit there with yourself and do that, okay? Because with this full moon, this is a time to release. So release release all that that's holding you back, okay? From you being you, you being your true authentic self, okay? Because now is the time. Yeah, it says, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. It says, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Making changes aren't easy, I know. They're not easy at first, but if you decide to take day by day, things will get better. Yeah, go forward fearlessly. It says, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. God damn. This is fucking beautiful. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If I can get up on here and post YouTube videos, you can too. Or whatever content or platform you're doing this on or that you're being called to. Because I know I'm talking to someone who has to like, someone who's being called to like, um, put themselves out there, okay? You guys don't even know. Let me just shut up. Listen. You can do it. I'm not I'm 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 not going to say that. Just let me shut up. You can do it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. And ask ask and pray for the divine for help as well when it comes to it. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Every time I turn on this fucking this camera to record, I'm nervous every time. And I've been doing this for like what two years now or a year and a half, whatever the fuck. A year and a couple months. I don't know. I don't know the concept of the time sometimes. <laughs> okay. I still get nervous. That feeling never goes away. So I'm going to let you know. It doesn't go away. But you'll start to like... I don't know. It, it gets easier-ish. But I don't know. I'm someone who had to... I don't know. I do know. I have a lot of straight, like stage fright and I forget what they call it. Performance anxiety. I don't fucking do well with that. I, I, I have a huge issue with anxiety. It's been like that forever. Okay. It has to do a lot with my upbringing and being in a uh, chaotic, growing up in a chaotic home with an alcoholic parent who was abusive. So... I don't know. Why am I telling you this? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? We have, you're the best of the best. Don't you ever fucking forget that. What else is this? It says, you'll never change the world by trying to fit in. Alright, Saggy. What else? They really want you to know that you're good enough. You're more than good enough. You're fucking, you're the right one for the job. The job has your name on it. Confirmation. 
All right, Sag, I'm going to end this because I'm telling you too much of my business. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a good uh, weekend, the rest of your weekend. Till next time, I love you.